Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today what we're gonna be taking a look at is the Eastman Neckerline Mirage Style uh, Baxter Stockman. Now, I did an unboxing short on this figure. If you guys are interested in checking out the unboxing and the box artwork, go ahead and look at my shorts. Maybe I put a little B-roll footage of it, but for the purpose of this video, we're gonna just talk about the accessories and get a more in-depth look at the figure and his playability and pricing and stuff like that. So obviously, as you can see here in this display, you can do a lot of cool things with this figure. I really think he's an awesome figure. But before I want, before I get into him, I do want to discuss the accessories. For accessories, you do get a secondary head scope. This is the one he comes with. The secondary one is the one he has on. A lot of similarities, honestly. I wish we got a little kind of different face um, gesture going on. And there, when it fell, let me get this. All right, there you go. Guys, this face and that face are too similar for my liking. So we'll get into that in the video. But right now, I do want to show you guys the hands. So you get the hand gestures pointing his finger, which is an awesome one. I do like this one. It's kind of my favorite one that I will be using. Um, you do get two fisted hands. So these fisted hands are the ones he comes with. And then you get this kind of hand, which is the one you want to use if you're going to hold the Mauser. So keep that in mind. And then you do get this little building. I think it's, a, it's supposed to be a building. It is in the comics as well. It is on the artwork. This is the building I think he destroys. If you guys read the comic, he destroys a building. So, isn't, uh, I believe issue number two is when Baxter was introduced. This particular one as well. And then you get the Mauser. So, for the Mauser, if you guys are not familiar with these NECA Mausers, we keep seeing them. And this is the second time this is released in, in a Mirage line. First one is over here, which was released um, with the, uh, which one was it? Splinter. He came with Splinter, the Mirage style Splinter. And now he's coming with Baxter Stockman, which is cool. Now, I would love to see a damaged one. Why we're getting the same one, I'm not sure. But I would have loved to see a different kind of mold of one that was damaged. You know, I think that would have been cool. Or... Instead of getting two very similar head scopes, because this is very similar to the one over there, I would have liked to see two Mausers, one like this and one damage. Because Bowser is Baxter. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I said Bowser because I was watching the Mario movie. Um, Baxter is the creator and founders of the Mausers because if you guys wasn't sure, didn't know, in episode one he did created them. Um, Necessary to get rid of the rats, but he had a secret plan in mind. Uh, he had created over 200, I think, of these to steal money from the banks and whatnot to fund his uh, thing. Stuff like that. It's, it's very cool, the, the lore to the Baxter Stockman. And then finally, we do get the, the awesome monitor here, desktop, which is really cool, really old school. What I would have loved to see now, I know this ain't going to happen and is asking for too much, but I would have loved to see a little gap here where we can slide films in and out of like images, maybe of like news reporting, April O'Neil, or even just letters, just a, a feature that we can change the screen. That would have been awesome. But again, I know it's not going to happen and is asking for way too much, but it's just, you know, it just came to my mind. I thought it would have been cool to... Um, at least mention that, you know, who knows if they'll do it in the future. Uh, but right now, let me let me move all this stuff, all this setup right here so we can take a better um, look at the figure because he is a great figure, guys. I'm not even lying. Like, and for the price, it's a great, great price. It's only $34. You guys were wondering, and he's definitely worth it. I will say that, especially if you have... If you're collecting turtle figures, you need a Baxter Stockman. So, for what my, for what uh, my knowledge, this is the only Baxter Stockman humanized from NECA for right now. 
So, looking at Baxter Stockman, we do get a lot of, you know, common artistic style when it comes to him that we do see on our normal um, Mirage style figures with Casey Jones and whatnot. But his joints are, he's not stiff. He may look really stiff, but he's not, which is awesome. I really do enjoy that. I, I told you guys that I was going to show you a similarity comparison right here. So look at these head scopes. Honestly, guys, it was a, I feel like they went lazy on, on his head scope. I feel like we should have had this one, but also get, gave us a different head scope or, like I said, two Mausers instead of one or two monitors. You know, these things are accessories that we love to see or I love to see. This can be included in an accessory pack. So, to, seeing two of these would have been nice or getting two Mausers, one damage, one not, would have been great instead of a really similar head scope. Again, not liking that they're too similar, too similar for my liking. But again, the figure is awesome. I'm going to show you guys a couple things. So if you want to grip the Mauser the way you see it on on the back of the cover or in the comic book. I can't remember where I saw it. So I think it is behind the cover. If you want to grip them, hold them the right way. How he kind of holds them. I did take pictures. So if you guys want to see exactly what poses I'm talking about. They're on. They're in the, um, what do you call it? In my community side of my channel. But this is kind of how you want to use these hands. So want to grip this gripping hand is to hold one of the mauser's legs so i'm having trouble because i do have my phone here right in front of me and i don't want to move the camera so much for you guys so let me actually pause this all right guys you didn't have to see me struggle um so you can see he holds them fairly well Fairly, fairly well without having issues though. He, the mouse is not too heavy for him. He won't fall. You know what I mean? Like he's perfect. I really do love this is the things that I love about this figure is the playability. If you guys seen the pictures again, you can see how much fun you can have with him. The backgrounds, the diorama, he goes, he fits in well with like your standard um, Necker figures. I mean, obviously, he's a little bit too tall, but he, what I mean is he looks good with either Playmates or NECAs or Super, Se Super 7, I don't have here, but Low Subjects, stuff like that. Like, he fits into those categories because he's an animated cartoon style figure. So, you can have lots of fun with him. It's not always up to scale, but it does go well when you put them side by side. Again, holding the Mauser like that, I think it's one of my favorite poses. Because, like I said, he loves these Mausers. He is the creator and founder of the Mausers. So, you know, he's those are his creations. So, I do like a lot the Baxter lore. Uh, the Baxter Stockman lore. Because he's just an interesting character. And even in the last run of comic books, he plays a huge uh, part. So, Doc... Baxter Stockman is an underrated uh, TMT figure. There's another way you can... And switching these hands are easy, so it's awesome. I want to show you guys the second pose here. One second. Okay, so this hand is so has so much playability that you can hold this thing how he does in the comments, comics as well. I'm trying to... Let me see if I can get him to hold... Hold on. I might need to pause it again. There you go, guys. So this hand, this one, which is going to be, if you guys get them, it's not this hand. And it's not this one right here. All right, guys. is going to be the one, his left hand side. So this is for the right hand. So you can eliminate that. And it's not going to be. So yeah, it's going to be, these are both for his right. So it's going to be the left open palm hand that you're going to be wanting to use that to open up, you know, to open up, to hold this while, because it opens up bigger. It opens up better. It has a softer kind of rubber going on to it, I believe, is to serve the purpose of gripping this correctly. Um, so look, it doesn't even fall, guys. 
it has the perfect grip so this is the hand that you're going to want to use for this kind of um for this building type of thing where he threatened in the comic book to destroy it and i think he does in the comic book destroy the building i think he wanted um he wanted money so he can fund his mausers and he was using the mausers to steal from the bank so look this is my favorite jester hand because it just goes with the face perfect too sometimes i don't know if you notice we do get figures and the face gestures does not match the like the face expressions does not match the hand gestures and you know it's like why even bother but this goes perfect so this figure lots of fun guys lots of playability i'll go ahead and show you guys the additional hesco because why not i i showed you guys everything so this is the other hesco more boring one for me one that i feel like has no point on being there like we should have gotten something else or a different type of hesco but here he is baxter stockman here's his creations man here's his little mauser one mauser two and i think they're cool he can kind of get the order for the mausers to go ahead and get the turtles for him or the money it's really really cool man you can also if you have these kind of tgri books and whatnot you can have them grip in one over here like this i usually do it i usually honestly put the accessories on the hands before i go ahead and mount it on the figure it makes it easier that's a little trick i've learned over the period of time i have collected so you can kind of have them reading that tg or i book i forgot which figure wrong this i think it was the donatello um from the the monster line donatello invisible donatello invisible man donatello brought a lot of cool accessories that's where this book came from so you can have them kind of reading it and whatnot investing time to see the secret of the tgri and whatnot like i said guys there's a lot of fun a lot of playability with this guy right here and i really think he is very essential for all of the for any tmnt line honestly i really do enjoy this figure and if you want to go see what we get, we've recently always gotten this Baxter Stockman. You know, till till recent, you know, when I started getting really into the turtle lines and turtle figures, I knew that there was a humanized version of Baxter Stockman because I always remember him as this. And I knew, obviously, he was a human and it turned him into this. But I've never really seen the true lore of Baxter Stockman. So awesome to see Baxter Stockman presented in this form and in this line and like i said the end of this from the mirage comic i do not have the mirage NECA style of turtles but i do have these from the eastman playmate side of things and i think these look fairly well to go with him as well again because he is an animated kind of artistic figure it's not kind of like He's not trying to resemble a realistic actor playing a role in a movie. He's just being portrayed as what he is, a comic artistic style of figure. So that's why I feel like he does go well with the animated Playmates figures or NECA figures or even those subjects. So that being said, guys, Dr. Back Baxter Stockman is an awesome figure and for me I give him an 8 out of 10. I give him an 8 out of 10 due to the fact that he is missing some not missing but I wish we would have gotten a different type of accessories. I wish we didn't get this head scope that I have him with on right now and I wish we got in a different head scope or a secondary mouser or a secondary monitor something that's more rare i get it that we have two facial expressions for uh Bacter stockman and maybe we can even play with him let me see if this even i know this is this body type don't go well but let me even just see if you can just play around with him you know what i mean maybe you can put him on a different type of 
body or whatnot. I know he does have, he becomes kind of like a cyborg or something. So you can, you got two headscopes to play with him, which is always cool. But at the end of the day, like I, like I said, the headscopes are too similar for my liking. And I would have rather seen something different. Let me know, guys, if you agreed with me on the comments down below. But like I said, guys, at the end of the day, I definitely recommend this figure for any collection. Honestly, a figure that I would have passed multiple times on if I saw other Turtle New figures the neck is releasing. But I am glad I gave it a shot because, man, I'm more than happy with him. And I do want the other one. I forgot his name. He was there as well. Um... And I'm going to get them eventually. And these things, these Mirage Line figures, I got to say of one thing, I cannot deny they bring some awesome accessories. And I think that's what boosts these figures. And that's what made me into getting these figures. Because the Mirage comic line, I wasn't so into these figures. Into recent, into I started um, seeing what they offer and how cool it is to get them out the box. So with that being said, guys, I don't want to take more time. I hope you do enjoy this video. I have um, one more thing to show you guys that I will be um, showing you, which is, if you guys haven't seen, is the Donatello, giant size Donatello. I found them from the Mutant Mayhem, so I cannot wait to show you guys that figure. Let me go ahead and show you guys a sneak peek. So there he is, looking really, really cool, really awesome. His glasses, make sure if you guys are looking for him, make sure the glasses and the bow staff and the headphones are tied up because I can see people stealing that so or just breaking it. So really cool. Stay tuned for that one. I also found today, just picked up another uh, Foot Soldier Necker movie line two-pack. Which, man, I am hype. Now, I got eight of these foot soldiers. I will be making a video on them just to talk about them, guys. But with that being said, let me know what you guys think about this guy. I really do appreciate your, your support, especially if you stood this long on the channel. Go ahead and share, like, and subscribe. And again, guys, honestly, thank you for your support. I'll catch you guys on the next one.